Hey, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey to unconditional love. Love the journey, love each other, love the soul group that are helping us back into our divine unions. And so I do divine love healing where I connect to your energies and I see the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path, um, to let you move out of fear and move into more love, basically. And I get a guided mantra and I get an angel card reading for you as well. Um, as well as that, I am doing a crystal grid, which I was guided to set up on the Lion's Gate. And I was guided to set it up for me and my twin to come into our union and then prompted to put it out to everyone. So you receive a piece of rose quartz crystal, which is for unconditional love. And when you meditate with that, it basically literally sends unconditional love to your twin and if you have the intent to send it out to raise love and light on the planet and to bring all twin flames into their union you are part of a soul group that are most definitely helping each other come into their unions and literally to anchor in love and light into the planet basically to raise the planet in love and light and um the power of doing it collectively is huge the power of doing it uh I mean, it's just amazing. It's just amazing, these messages that we're getting. So what I've just realised is, I just look at, um, I was saying about Divine Masculine, Matt had sent me a link to a video that he'd done, which I haven't been able to watch, but um, the book that he was given that had the George Harrison signature in that said, all you need is love, the book was Krishna and, I can't remember the other person's name, it's just gone out of my head. Um, but basically, it was a twin flame book, um, and in it, it had um, the uh, uh, yeah the signature of George Harrison saying, "All you need is love." So if you just think how amazing it is that that has happened, so just think. <laughs> I just suddenly was walking, and I was just thinking, "Hang on a minute." So somebody, a grid member, has received a signed book from from George Harrison from the Beatles saying all you need is love so you know just the, that is just quite amazing from the biggest band in the world basically weren't they and how many millions and millions and millions of records have they sold so quite i would say that that is pretty good confirmation that we are on the right track i would say that is like the most perfect message ever um, the other thing that I wanted to share was I just bumped into a lady and um, she was walking her dog and the film that has come through before was called Street Cat Called Bob and it's an inspirational film based on a true story where um, a homeless guy finds a cat and basically because he has something to live for and something to look after and something to love um, the cat basically turns his life around and he bu goes busking with the cat and he basically ends up getting a book deal and then they made a film out of it. So, you know, completely against all the odds, he basically came off drugs and, you know, basically turned his life around and then, you know, a film was made out of his story. So, and that was amazing because I, I know, and the, a place where he, <laughs> the place where he used to busk at is called Angel. <laughs> so, you know, just more and more crazy, 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 amazing signs. Now, the reason why I say that is I'm chatting to this woman and uh, basically her, her husband had passed away and she was asking me about what I do and about Reiki and, um, and she said to me, do you think that you can, um, when people go, you know, when people die, do you think you can connect to their spirits? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And because uh, she said, because I've had, you know, I've smelt him and stuff. And I was like, oh my goodness, he'll be around you everywhere. You just need to call on him and he'll give you signs and messages and everything. And it reminded me of when I first started doing Reiki. Um, I basically, the reason why I went to, um, spent, I spent time in Gozo and went to the Miracle Place every day to do Reiki, part of the reason why I did that was because my best friend's dad had died. And he was really, you know, he was like a second dad to me as I was growing up as well. 
And uh, when I did, so that was re very early on when I started doing Reiki. And what happened was when I was doing Reiki for my friend, my friend's dad came through and stood by me. Now, I mean, he was massive. He was like six foot four. So <laughs> I knew straight away it was him because I was like, oh my God, you're stood by me, aren't you? And I literally felt him right there. And ever since he's been with me, you know, helping me on this journey. And so I'd, I said to, I told her that story and she said, oh, wow, that's so amazing to know because, you know, most people you can't really talk about this to because they just think, no, when you're dead, you're dead and that's it. And I was like, oh, no, he will be with you. He'll be with you everywhere. And then, guess what? She caught, Her dog had gone off running. So she calls her dog. Guess what the dog was called? Bob. <laughs> So, you know what, this is why this is just so ridiculously amazing because it's absolutely everywhere. You know, the, the, that basically if you live your life in love and the love vibration, look at this, it's just stunning. Um, if you live your life in the love vibration, then, you know, <laughs> all of these, anything really is possible. That's the message. The message is that anything is possible and it is literally about, you know, divine timing and trusting in your path and knowing that 